Hello, the practitioner here again. Bravo um, for having uh, said that we need both. Um, interestingly, there was a technical term for it when uh, people say like, oh, we need to automatically learn formulas and forget the process of trying to teach them uh, or or, uh, or that we automatically block at anything new without presenting any reason as to why the older version is better than the newer version or as to why the, uh, or, or as you said, completely forgetting about the, uh, the issues of uh, trying to under help people understand the process or how to practically under uh, explain it. Uh, that's what's called, at least what I learned from one of my philosophy classes for distribution credit, called the appeal to tradition fallacy, i.e. this is better because this is the way it's always been. And it's an error in reasoning, uh, well, again, I've, I've put, again, in a lot of my previous videos, about my concerns about, um, about uh, use of critical thinking fallacies and uh, the fact that they're still commonly used in everyday... Uh, <laughs> I mean, we, we have problems uh, with logic and math, let alone the problems in, in society, which are, you know, like, this, this flaw in uh, lack of uh, being able to practically apply logic is a much larger problem, but I digress. Um... I agree with you. Um, I'd like to uh, kind of chip in my own two cents worth, again, as a, as a Bachelor of Science student and uh, still going through differential equations right now and where I often have trouble. Um, now, of course, granted, I have trouble with, uh, you know, of course, granted, I probably don't do enough problem sets. I could do more. My biggest concern is um, often when I'm, st when I'm working with this stuff, I do struggle sometimes with particular uh, aspects of differential formulas, but not so much on... Um, not so much on the word problems. I mean, I understand once I have a word problem, I understand which formula to apply it to because I have an idea of, of how the system works. The problem comes in when I'm actually trying to understand how to apply the formula itself, not trying to, uh, you know, not trying to, um, not trying to know which one goes where. I mean, like, I understand the process. The problem is actually trying to, uh, you know, remember which numbers to flip where or, or stuff like that, which is one of the reasons I've always uh, wished. Again, I always go through the textbook myself, but I did think that there was, uh, I would like, um, this is just my own personal thing, but I've noticed that with calculus textbooks, when I'm going through, they, they either do um, random problems. They either do, uh, in, in some cases, they do random problems put in the back of the text, say like one every third question or something, just to give you a rough idea. And then they have a solutions manual which does this. Um, or say they put every odd question with the answer in the back of the book in the solutions manual. Well, that's the thing which really annoys me about that is the fact that it, it gives people the chance to, um, say for example, now say for example, um, often professors will get around this, at least the professors I've had, uh, by say, um, Say, for example, uh, giving people uh, odd problem sets for practice and then giving uh, even problem sets on occasion too, but automatically making even questions for assignments. That's all well and good, but the thing, of course, is those that um, nine times out of ten, whenever I've been dealing with differentials, in all my other science courses, uh, wherever we're assigned even number problems or problems which are not in the back of the textbook, they always eventually, after we've worked on them for a week or so, or after we've tried to go to the professor for help if we're really stumped, they send the email. They send an email around with the solutions to the particular problems. So this way you can, you know, to the even number problems which were not for handed. So this way you can see where you were stumped. In calculus, I've never had this. And it, um, in some cases, particularly if you're trying to go, now the thing is, um, going through the back of the textbook and going through the solutions manual is a way of cheating yourself, I have to admit. But the thing is that sometimes, for those of us who have Asperger's and for, you know, autistic spectrum disorders, where sometimes it really, really, um, because again, we're trying to work process and unfortunately sometimes we end up getting hooked upon a particular detail and we're trying to, you know, see the bigger picture of a problem. Granted, a solution or two may be helpful, but sometimes eventually we do really get stumped because of a, of a fundamental factor like a uh, like something that might not necessarily uh, you know in a practical situation we may get stumped on a relatively particular point and for an even number problem this would really be helpful to get the extra you know even to get the final solution and to see where we screwed that up you know in the practice sets so that's why we can do more of those in terms of odd or even and then be able you know or then to be able to better perform on assignments or better perform in the exam because we have a bit better of a working understanding of this so um, Again, a little bit more of uh, you know a little bit more help of you know when we're working alone or when we're working on on understanding of processes, it might be kind of helpful and sometimes for um, for us to get more you know well you know what they do in science classes to do this for the even number problems to do something similar for even numbered or problems that aren't in the back of the textbook or that are assigned as as homework of problems but not assigned as part of hand in like say for example in one of my ma in my second first year calculus. Um, Sometimes we get a batch of questions assigned for a particular problem where um, we get odd and even numbered that were uh, take-home problems. 
and all the problems that would be sent in would also be even numbered. Now, the ones for the automatic send-in for even numbered, I can understand that. But the thing, of course, is though, is that for these even numbered, which are takeaway problems, the thing is that you have no frame of reference after you've, you know, say for example, you do the odd problems and you do screw up, and then you go back and you think you've understood it after you've uh, gone back over it, checked with the answer in the back of the book, um, you know, gone over it a few times, and then finally looked at the solutions manual, seen where you screwed up, and then, um, and then, well, in my case, I always try to punch it through myself afterwards after seeing the solution just to get a grasp of what's going on. But then I would like to reapply it to another problem later. It would be kind of nice to have a uh, to have even just the solution to the even number problems for take home set aside somewhere where we can actually go in and double check it and then struggle with it again to make sure that we've actually understood what's going on with the odd number problems. You know, I mean, it would be it would be nice to understand how, and particularly for word problems, it would be nice to understand. Okay, now we're punching it through, and then you know, it, it'll click a lot easier then, of course, if once we're punching it through, and then we understand that we have to reapply it in other areas because there are uh, factors missed. And you know, like it, it would be nice to be able to have something like this, where um, I mean, I know professors are for greater accessibility, but you know, I guess. I guess being an Aspie, I work a lot better with textbook learning, which is one of the reasons why it would be easier in my case, I guess, again, just purely from the perspective of, of, of having Asperger's, it would be nicer on sometimes to have um, access to solutions uh, or, or means of being able to find, um, you know, even just the straight solutions. So this way we can go back over the problems later and punch it through and compare it with the last pro word problem and then try to figure out, okay, okay, what is what is new in this particular circumstance that's different from here that we can try to reapply or stuff like that, you know. Half the time I, uh, and half the time if I ever do manage to find a solution, I end up going back over it and it discovers that it was some, you know, half the time when I end up going back over it, I discovered that I had the, the basic process right. You know, I figured out the overall process, but it was some dumb algebraic error I made in step three, which I hadn't even realized, you know, like a basic algebraic error because I wasn't paying attention to detail. So I go back and, you know, and run that through. And then, of course, it, you know, it makes a lot more sense. Um, and the same with the, you know, the working through the solutions. I mean, you know, that would really be a lot better if, you know, a, a, you know, I mean, we're not talking assignments here. We're just talking, you know, even, uh, even problems assigned for take home problems, you know, problems that, you know, that are extra extra, which are, don't have solutions at the back of the, you know, in the basically what I'm wondering is would it be possible for the, um, uh, you know, for the, uh, uh, say for the even, uh, say for the even numbered problems, just uh, for, uh, say for example, if you get sent the batch, you get sent the batch of the odd ones, which of course are take home and do yourself, right? Then uh, have the uh, batch of even, which would, or, or you know, or vice versa, whichever the way the textbook is, have those set, which are for, uh, for hand in assignment, which of course you don't have any uh, stuff for, you, you try to do them as best you can. And then you have, if the professor assigns, um, uh, if the professor assigns, say, the if, if all the odds are in the back of the book, but the professor also assigns even for take-home problems, which are not meant to be turned in, send just the just the solutions, not the not the uh, not like the full process to get to the solution, but the final answer. Just send a list of those final answers by email, um, say after four or five days, um, like they do in the other science courses. You know, do this for calculus as well. So this way, the students can then double-check their math against the solutions and go, okay, something is screwing up here. What am I doing wrong? And then the, you know, and then they can go back over it, and you know, and then be able to get a better understanding that way. You know, practical exp you know, practical running it through. Anyway, that's just my own thought. Um, it would be kind of nice to see that slight modification going on every so often, just so this way for those of us who are trying to learn via ProSet, well, not you know, you know, and by process I mean not necessarily formulas like trying to memorize formulas, but by trying to work the uh, problems through for word problems and or or for basic guy. Uh, for basic formulaic problems, and when screwing up, you know, at least have a solution there, so this way we can try to backtrack through the numbers and understand where we screwed up. And then if all else fails, go ask the professor for, or 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 better yet, just you know, to go ask the professor for help. You know, I mean, either one's cool, but you know, in my case, I always prefer to work textbook oriented because half the time I end up working on stuff, you know, to, because of my bad disorganization, I never find the time to be able to go. See or I go get to go see my professor, but you know there's a lineup of like 20 to 50 students, and so you know it's it's kind of difficult to be able to get the one-on-one -on -one help for autistic spectrum. So that's why I ask that you know at least for that area it would be kind of nice to have um you know for an autistic spectrum disorder where you need to be able to focus on the problem and you need the extra time and the extra coaching sometimes you know um you know like try because you're trying to understand the you know by trying to understand the process so this way you can reapply it later um, uh, or or reapply something general but with the you know miss you know with the the recorrected stuff for a word problem 
you know what I'm saying? It would be very much appreciated for um, for you know for people who need to be able to go through this a bit more, so that you know, so this way, if the professors are in a big class and they have to deal with like 20 to 50 students or more, 